It all just came into my mind that I need to talk about this. Oh, it's so hard in my heart. My heart is literally racing for it. I can't deal with this all. Oh, oh my god. I wasn't planning on filming anything, it's currently almost 8 p.m. but all this just, oh I can't, oh my gosh, I feel so overwhelmed and I need to talk about this, I need to talk about all this toxicity, all the everything that's happening online and how it affects us so badly, Whew, I don't know, I have no plan for it, but I'm just gonna go for it and say my feelings. I just posted a reel on my Instagram about how social media is a highlight reel and it's all I started thinking about it more and more and more and now I can't stop because oh, it's a highlight reel. You don't believe everything, anything you see online. Every, a lot of things are fake. Oh, we don't show our struggles. Most of people don't show their crying things. You don't see everything that beh happens behind the screen. I was crying today like three times because my mom is screaming, yelling at me for no reason. I have problems. Everyone has problems. But when we see everything, how it's saturated and how perfect people are living, we get so jealous because jealousy is the thief of joy. I get so jealous by seeing how other people are hanging out with their friends, how other people are wealthy, how money can travel, how a lot of followers have a lot of supporters, get brand deals, sponsorships. I see what people are showing, what they have and I don't have and I I I and I start comparing myself immediately. Immediately. Oh my god, it's so overwhelming and it's so frustrating and I it all I got gets all in my head and I just can't stop like comparing and feeling so bad about myself that I don't have those things but in reality is I am in the place where I need to be and I will get that what I want whenever that whenever universe will give it to me everything happens in the right time now I know why I'm currently in this place that why I suffered with the things that I have suffered they have made me stronger they have re made me realize who am I where am I what I like what have I done wrong and how can I improve I do it every single day but all everything is just want I want to cry because how toxic Instagram TikTok social media is I mean I just for ex for example for Instagram I take my phone I look at mirror selfie camera and I'm like oh you you I look ugly I need to put a filter on I can't show it on my feed how I'm not perfect but I'm not perfect nobody's perfect I have huge under eye circles that I have dealt dealt with all my life because I am insecure about them now I'm getting more and more comfortable with them because I have understood that having under eye circles is normal and we have to normalize it not having perfect skin not per having perfect anything is okay because what is even perfect perfect for every single person is different perfect body for example person is different looks different and all this hot girl summer that I'm seeing online getting ready for hot girl summer getting that hot girl summer body i mean what is even hot girl summer body your body is perfect your body is already bikini body you don't have to diet or go to on those restrictive diets not eating anything fasting or dieting and just ruining your metabolism your body your digestion your health that's just the only thing that you will get i don't understand it why this hot girl summer has made to be a so toxic thing because hot girl summer started like loving your body for who it is and no now social media has made it to those diets and buy those products to get that hot girl summer body why 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 can you just not make it as a normal thing that everybody is perfect that you don't have to change yourself for pictures for wearing a bikini because you are perfect it's so hard i'm saying it like over and over again I'm literally just wondering and thinking about all these things that are happening in the world not just about diet culture but all about like racist hate for people doing their dreams for fulfilling their dreams they're getting hate why is that even a thing why is that even a thing that people get hated for loving themselves for accepting their bodies oh 
I just get so frustrated by, by all of this. And also the thing I forgot about to say, I don't know, it's personally for me, but it feels like uh, you have to have this one belief. You can't have your options, opinions on things because if you will, you will be judged by having other op op beliefs and opinions. Like, it's okay, it's so normal to have different beliefs. Like, we all are different. We all are, have different lives, experiences in life, and I think it's just normal to have different beliefs in life and different opinions. I mean, I hate when I turn on the camera and just look at the viewfinder and like think, I don't look like that perfect person. What is perfect, right? I hope you people understand it. It's hard to understand it, so I accept it that you are not understanding it because I am not either that I'm perfect the way I am. It's hard to accept your body. It's a huge learning journey to love yourself, to love your life for what it is because that inside of you, your heart is why, why you have to be thankful. Your body that is functioning right, that you can do things, you can go out, you can walk, you can eat food, you have food, you have water. Those are the things that we underestimate, those are the things that we underestimate, that we are not thankful enough because there are millions of people who have not, who don't have like running water, who don't have food and I'm here. I'm not here complaining about not having the summer, hot girl summer body because everybody is hot girl summer body, but I'm just complaining here how social media is a toxic place. We all are suffering and dealing with our own things. There is no way that nobody in this world isn't suffering with something that you are suffering because there is literally no chance that one and those eight billion other people is and suffering with what you are suffering. I often feel alone, like I'm alone in this struggle. I'm alone in this mental illnesses. I'm alone in having breakdowns about nothing and that I'm alone of having anxiety over nothing. For me, that is nothing. It's nothing for my mother. It's it's that's nothing for her, but it's a big deal for me. It's hard. It's so hard because if toxic everything is around you not around me but in here in this in this world i know i'm rambling a lot i always feel like i'm not doing enough i need to work harder 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 i need to do more 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 and i often feel so guilty about just chilling just relaxing and i feel so guilty when i spend time on my phone i mean just like scrolling and it's like oh one hour have passed i've done nothing but also i've been on this toxic side i know i get crazy about this all and also social media has become my safe place in a way that i get home and for relaxing i mean for chilling i go on my phone immediately i'm like okay this is how i relax but my eyes my brain isn't relaxing it's literally working working getting that information toxic information or non-toxic that depends but yeah it's like information it's like escape from rela reality a lot of times like always escape 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 so i want to make my youtube channel as a safe place is a realistic place i will try my best to show realistic me realistic life realistic everything not perfect my my food isn't perfect my life isn't perfect my days aren't perfect my mood is changing 24 7 i have so many problems i have i'm not happy truly and that's the saddest thing i think the goal of life is being happy happy in yourself have being happy in your life having a happy life and that's the goal where i'm trying to get think i'm trying to achieve being happy in life i will try to make this video as unedited as possible because i'm not perfect i don't speak fluently english i don't speak 100 uh, percent always like i can't be that i'm not a robot i'm a real human being i like hoodies i don't like dressing up i don't like a lot of things that people like i don't like a lot of things that teenagers like i feel like i'm alone i'm just like a loner i'm in a, a teenage body being like a grandma just loving fitness and loving sports and loving healthy eating and loving healthy life not this toxic drinking partying everything also toxic thing that all movies are the same you fell in love with this person and then you are like oh my gosh and everything happens so amazingly and not all of them obviously i love that there are realistic shows like 13 reasons why that 
Life is not pretty. Life is hard and there are a lot of shit happening in our lives. But uh, I, I'm trying to uh, like think about the good. You have to think about the good because you attract what you are thinking. You attract the energy that you are giving to the universe. Because when I was in my darkest side, I darkest place in my life, I was so deep down in this circle and the thought, bad thought circle and everything. I'm still not out of it a lot of days, but I have to look at the good. I have to look, oh, it's beautiful outside, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day to be alive. When I go to countryside, I just feel this peace in my heart. I feel like, oh my gosh, the world is amazing. The world is beautiful. I feel so calm. I'm like, oh my gosh, this dog is around me. She loves me for who I am. She doesn't care about how I look like. When I go to countryside, I don't care how I look. I don't look at mirror even. I live my life there peacefully and just live it. Just live it. Obviously, it's only on summers when I go there for a long time. But yeah, it just feels there. The life is so peaceful and normal. Chill and not so in a big rush. And it's calm and it's amazing to feel that. I have no clue where I'm going with this video. But I hope you understand it. That you are amazing the way you are. You have to start loving yourself. Say the good affirmations like I am becoming closer to my true self every day. I trust myself to make the right decisions. My mind is full of brilliant ideas. Those um, affirmations are on my wall to read them daily. I try to read affirmations, say them to myself in the present moment. Like say it like you have it already. I am perfect. I am pretty. Not I will be skinnier. I will be cuter. I will get that job. I am the person that I want to be. I am wealthy. I have amazing relationships. Everything around me is amazing. I attract love, beauty. My body is healthy. I live healthy. I take care of my body. I can do those physical activities. I'm strong. I'm powerful. Anything that you want, say it like you already have it. Write it down like you already have it. Write in your journal the thing like you would have it. How you would at attract. How would you live your life if you would have it? For example, I want to travel the world. So I say, I am currently in Bali. I am surfing. I am uh, swimming in the sea, in the ocean, seeing the waves, the blue ocean, and just something like that. And if you do it daily, the universe will hear it. The universe will see it. And you, by time, when it's the perfect time, you will get it. You will get what you need. And what and that, then you will have it. So what I want to say with this is, um, please follow people who are real, raw, who are informative and give some sort of information that helps you in a good way, not in a bad way. People who are educating in different topics, who are trying to help you in a good way, not in a toxic, restrictive, bad way. Uh, for example, I follow a lot of people who are um, a vegans, obviously, but who share nutrition and how to eat healthy, balanced, not restrictive. And But just follow people who are actually real and who try their best to be like as authentic and showing the truth like i don't know for example kardashians like this fake photoshop face tune things that it's not okay it's not okay to photoshop your body to fit in this, to this society high not real standards just remember you are love you are beauty and you are just incredible human and you don't need to change for stupid social media standards diets all the bs that's out there you don't need those diet teas anything it's all toxic but you your body knows your best your body knows your cravings your body knows what it needs and i believe in you sending a lot of love happiness to your day to your life and please stay with me follow me and we be and if you want to be mutual text me dm me anytime i will want to respond i always love when people are texting me and saying good things so yeah be yourself and see you in the next video